so today we're in the Anisty Water Training Centre um, in the UK. Uh, we're going to paint these uh, two Range Rover doors, very big panels. Um, these are being prepped up for some smart repair training that's going on next week. So the guys have asked me if, I, if I've got a spare hour just to base them up, get them ready. So I'm going to go through the process on these. These panels have been prepped using 500 discs, uh, finished off with some grey scotch bright, cleaned, they're ready to go. We're going to go through the system today. The system will be uh, wet on wet primer to start. On the wet on wet primer, we're going to use W400 WBX. The reason using the W400 WBX is because it's got split nozzle technology. And from wet on wet primer, you want a real flat lay down. You want it as smooth as flat as you can get because everything else goes on the top of that. So the W400 WBX has split nozzle technology which will help shear the material as it goes across the slots, which will give us that flat lay down. On the base coat, we'll be using uh, Sickens AutoWave, uh, which is a wet dry application. For this application, we're going to use LS400, which will be using a standard 1.3 ET. The conditions in here are standard conditions. We have 22 degrees, 45% humidity. We'll be spraying with the burners off. Uh, so it'll keep that kind of consistent uh, temperature. And then on the clear coat, we're going to use WS400, again using uh, Sickens uh, 2.0 clear coat, using a 1.3 HD for the clear coat. And that should give us a really nice application, so next week they can do some nice smart repair training on these doors. So to follow up from being in the booth and discussing which guns we're going to use for the process, the first gun in the first part of the process is the W400 WBX. The W400 WBX, like all the rest of these guns, has split nozzle technology, which means the nozzles are split and cross-cut. That means as the air comes across the nozzle, it falls into the serrations, putting air into the centre of the, uh, the paint stream, which stabilises the droplets, makes them very fine and consistent. Then once you get to the air cap, it atomizes it twice, which means we can balance and we can also optimize the size of the droplet, giving us a really consistent lay down. This is what is required on your wet on wet primers. The flatter, the better, because everything lays on top of that, your base coat and your clear coat. Moving on to your, your base coats, we're going to be using two colors. We're going to be using the Mustang Olive, which is a Ford color. Quite a striking color. And then we're going to use an aquamarine, which is a metallic blue. Quite an old colour, but it's good for doing smart repairs, which is the nature of this. For that application, we're going to be using LS400, again, with split nozzle technology, the same as the uh, WBX. But this is four slots instead of three slots. This means we can stabilise the droplets even finer. We can make the size consistent. It's not general atomization like, like a flat nozzle, it's high atomization. So that's what we're using for base coat. On base coat, we're using the AutoWave system that we have in the training center. This is a wet dry application, which is also good for doing smart repair. And then on clear coat, we're going to be using the WS400 standard set at 1.3 HD, which we'll be using again, like I said, for the AutoWave 2.0 clear coat. We're going to wet on wet these two, uh, two doors. First things first, we're going to do a spray on the wall. We're going to do a, a, a textbook impact test. So generally when people do a, a fan pattern, it's this kind of woolly mess. Just a mess, doesn't give you anything, it's not defined. The proper way to do an impact test is pressure, two bar, dynamic pressure, trigger pull. Distance 130. That gives you a, a proper defined impact test. It's showing you exactly what that pattern's doing. It's telling you where the material is. It's telling you if it's, uh, if it's top heavy or bottom heavy. Before you spray anything, always check your pattern.
we're back in the booth now. We're gonna we're gonna base up these two bonnets now. They've been wet on wetted. We've got aquamarine, aquamarine blue on this one, and we've got Mustang, Mustang olive on this one. Uh, first thing to do is to check your fan patterns, as always. Pressure on the LS400, which is HVLP, is 1.8 bar. Uh, this is a standard setup, 1.3 ET, for standard conditions. If you're in conditions which are more hot and dry, I suggest you go up to, what, uh, to a ETS setup which is a little bit more centre wet. The fluid delivery is the same, but it just concentrates the material a little bit more direct in the centre so you can get it in, in those extreme conditions. But these conditions today are pretty standard conditions. We have about 22 degrees and about 40, 45% humidity. So we'll do a fan pattern test. Nice and even. Soft edges, top and bottom, all the way across the pattern is nice and even fluid delivery, no centre wetness. Atomization, top and bottom is nice and fine, the droplets are nice and tight and compact. Uh, it's not random, it's not spitting anyway. It's got the split nozzle technology on the, uh, on the nozzles, which really breaks it up really fine and consistent. Really nice pattern. So I'll paint this one first and we'll repeat the uh, process with the, with the blue. So again, we've done another LS400 spray out, 1.3 ET. As you can see, the pattern is really flat and even. Fluid all the way across the, across the pattern from top to bottom. Nice soft edges at the top and bottom. Atomization is really tight and compact. The droplets are really fine and consistent. There's no spitting or breaking, which is an indication of poor atomization or under atomization, or as we call it, general atomization. This is high atomization across the split nozzle technology. As you say, nice, flat and even, really tight and compact. Beautiful fan pattern. I've just sprayed this in that, uh, in that blue, and as I said about the fan pattern, how it's flat and, flat and even all the way across the pattern. As you come down using a flat and even pattern, the overlap isn't as critical. It doesn't matter where you overlap as much because it's not centre wet. So anywhere you, you miss, you don't quite get that overlap quite right, the bottom and the top of the pattern will fill in the gaps. It makes it easier to use. You don't have to be so critical on your overlaps because you've got such a nice flat and even spray pattern on the wet coat, looking through that door, nice and even. As I said in the pattern, no centre wetness, so you haven't got that banding because anywhere I haven't quite got the overlap quite right, the rest of the pattern will fill in the imperfection or any gaps that I've missed with my overlaps. So always a really nice, even lay down on, on difficult colours. So as I said, no uh, imperfections in the overlaps whatsoever. We put the first two coats on this, this is a wet dry application, it's a thickens application. So we've put the wet coat on it, we've dried it, so it's all dry. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the final drop coat on. So same pressure, 1.8 bar, just come off a little bit further. Nice season application all the way down the panel. Keeping those overlaps nice and consistent and even. And the same on the, on the blue.
we're back in the booth now. The, uh, the panels have flashed, so that final drop coat is finished and flashed. Panels looking really nice in uniform. No banding, no model whatsoever in those. Nice and even on both panels, both colours. So the next thing now is what we'll do is we'll um, do a quick clear coat spray out on the wall. Two bar. 130, 150 distance, look at the pattern, make sure the pattern's nice and even and no problems. And then what we'll do is we'll give the, these two uh, doors their first medium grip coat. And then after that, we'll go on with the full wet. Okay, so let's do the, the, uh, the spray out first. Again, when we're spraying clear coat, the recommended pressure is two bar dynamic pressure trigger pull. Okay. Fully open, fan open, air open, fluid open. So just spread out this spray pattern. This is a 1.3 HD on a WS400. The pattern is still flat and even across the pattern, all the way from top to bottom, fluid all the way through the middle of the pattern. No center wetness. The pattern is a little bit fuller, a little bit wider. That's because it's a high delivery nozzle set. So for application of, uh, of clear coat, you just want that slightly wetter application, but still flat and even. Top and bottom of the pattern, really tight and even, nice droplet size, no spitting, no travel, just nice and compact. The droplets are very, very stable. Right, so we've put the first gripper coat on, the light, the light medium coat on the two doors. We're now going to go for a full wet coat. Now again, the same thing, we're going to set it at two bar, atomizing pressure to the gun handle, dynamic pressure. Now, as we're spraying this, we let the gun do the work. Because it's a flat, flat and even fan pattern, as we're coming down the panel, nice even overlaps. If we don't quite get the overlap quite right, as I said before, the top of the pattern will continue to fill in any imperfections. As I said earlier on, if you've got a centre wet pattern that's very, very centre, that your sweet spot is only in that middle. So your overlaps have to be absolutely bang on. But with this kind of flat and even pattern, if you don't quite get it right, the rest of the pattern is still working behind itself and filling in any imperfections it goes along. So you get a really nice, tight, even application all the way down the panel. Just put those, uh, just, just clear coated these two doors wet, final coat, all finished, all done, process finished, both looking really, really nice, really, really nice and even, flat and even, no problems. Uh, with the overlap of the clear coats, very, very easy. Um, not so much of a worry about your overlaps because as I said, the flat pattern fills in any imperfections as you go along. So all you've got to just worry about is your distance and your speed. But as we can see from both of those two uh, doors, nice, absolutely perfect, no problems, absolutely nothing in the base coat whatsoever, nice and uniform, no mottle at all, no striping due to the flat pattern, all three of the applications, wet and wet, base coat and clear coat, faultless, absolutely faultless. So anyway, that's it. That's the end of the, this quick uh, video. We're showing the uh, three gun processes, the WBX for wet and wet, the LS400 for the base coat, and then the WS400 for, for the clear coat. 
As we said on the WBX, we had a 1.4 WBX for the wet on wet, we had a 1.3 ET for the base coat and we had a 1.3 HD for the clear coat. Dead easy, very, very easy. Absolutely nothing there at all uh, to worry about. So anyway, so thank you for watching our YouTube channel and I hope to see you again soon.